Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, we got a request here. If you have a request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. And as long as you pay me, and it's legal, I'll do it. So, uh, this comes from Chris. Chris writes, uh, Hi, Captain. Uh, my name is Chris, and I've been a subscribed to your YouTube channel for quite a while, and I enjoy your videos. I wish YouTube and your channel had been about when I was 18-ish. I'm 38 now. You give it out some straight advice. Having said that, I'm very happy with my career, etc. now, after many years wasted in the wrong types of jobs. I was just wondering how much you would charge to give your opinion about the new labor leader in Britain, Jeremy Corbyn. In a YouTube video, he's an old leftist, so I know you'd be a big fan of his. Sarcasm never come, comes across well in writing, does it? Anyway, let me know if you'd be interested in this, please. Regards, Chris. So yes, Chris paid, and uh, what we're going to do, uh, and you can look this up, it's called the Clary Test. And this is basically how I judge people rather quickly. It's kind of like an easy little tool for you two to use to judge rather quickly whether or not a person is worth a shit, whether or not you can trust them, and certainly whether or not you want them in politics or office. But it's just these four simple traits of variables I ask about people or try and find out about them to find out if they are a as equal person, a superior person, or an inferior person. The four things are basically this. One, do they have a worthless or a worthwhile degree? All right, two, do they have any private sector experience? All right, or are they just like, uh, you know, always like in a fucking nonprofit or the government? Three, are they currently working in nonprofit, academia, not, uh, government type jobs or some such industry? Bar, bar, military, police, and fire. Okay, so those guys are public sector, but they actually do something of service and value to society. And the fourth and final one is do they hail from rich parents? Now, ideally, you would want a lowest score as possible. You don't want to have a worthless degree. You don't want to have no private sector experience. You don't want to be working in the fucking government or the fake makeup, you know, wannabe children job world. <clears throat> you don't want to hail from rich parents. So if you get a score of four, it, you know, like already I've written you off. Uh, this doesn't mean that you can't be a great person, but... It pretty much means you can't be a great person. You're probably an asshole, a fucking scumbag, douchebag asshole. So there's that. And there's a score of zero. You know, again, no guarantee that you're this great person. But basically, it's a guarantee if you got a score of zero, you're going to be a pretty fucking awesome person. All right? So I have not looked him up. I just pulled up the Wikipedia page. I haven't read anything. We're going to go through Jeremy Corbyn, uh, his, his uh, Wikipedia page, and check things out real quick and put this together here. Uh, okay, Corbyn, he's a baby boomer, born in 1949. British politician who is the leader of the Labour Party and leader of the opposition. He's been member of the, of the Parliament from Islington North since 1983. Okay, so we, forget talking about his degree. This guy may not even have an ed education. This guy has been working for government his entire fucking life, since I've been eight years old. So um, <clears throat> this guy, and now he could have some private sector experience, but we have not seen it yet. Uh, and it certainly is not recent. So I already got one big one, possibly two points on here. Born in Chippenham, Wilshire, briefly attended London Polytechnic before going on to work as an official for the National Union of Public Employees. Okay, so again, nonprofit, public sector, fake, made up work for the amalgamated engineering. If he was an electrician or an electrical engineer, that would be different. But he went and worked for the unions. Um, he, he only attended college briefly. So he did, this guy didn't even go to college. So it's a null score on, on his degree. But So this guy, probably two. No private sector experience. No real world experience. Never had to adhere to a budget. Never actually had to produce something of value. Just went and became a whiny fucking cunt asking for other people's money. Ooh, the big bad businesses. <laughs> so he's got two points so far. And so far, because he didn't go to school, you know, older people didn't go to school as, as commonly as they do today, he, he may only be able to get a maximum of three, but we would lower the score to three uh, for his total score. Uh, he began his political career in 1974. I was 
wasn't even fucking alive in 1970. So what? He was born in 49. He was, what, did I do the math right? 25 years old. And he thinks at that young age, he's wise enough to tell other people what to do. This is an egomaniac. This is a power tripping lazy fuck who never wanted a real job in his life and decided that he's going to tell you people what to do. He's 25 years old. By God, he had enough of that fucking working bullshit. He almost had to go to school for two whole semesters. And then he kind of sort of maybe worked at the union. <laughs> What's the union workers like who work at the union? I'm not talking union workers. I'm talking people employed by the union. Are they like super lazy? What is... What is I mean, <laughs> When he was elected to a Heron G. Council and also served as the secretary of the Islington Constituency Labor Party, he continued in these... It's funny how he works for the Labor Party, but he's never labored once in his life. Uh, he continued in these roles until his election as MP. Uh, so that's what. He was there for like nine years. <clears throat> a self-described democratic socialist, imagine that, advocates the renationalization of public utilities and of the railways, combating corporate tax evasion and avoidance as an alternative to the government's austerity program, abolishing university tuition fees, and restoring student grants, a unilateral policy of nuclear disarmament, uh, quantitative easing, so just printing off money to fund infrastructure and renewable energy projects. Okay, he's just, he's just a socialist. He's, that's all he is. He's nothing special in this capacity. He's a member of the Socialist Campaign Group, the Palestine Solidarity Campaign, okay, uh, Amnesty International, Nuclear Disarmament. This is just a washed up fucking hippie baby boomer. June 6, 2015, Corbyn announced his candidacy for the leadership of the Labour Party. Though he was initially regarded as a fringe hopeful in the leadership election, Corbyn became the lead candidate in opinion polls and secured the support of the majority of the trades unions affiliated to the Labour Party as well as three non-affiliated non unions. September 12, 2015, he was elected Labor Party leader with 60% of the votes in the first round of the thing. All right, so let's do early life and career. Let's see. Um, educate. Okay, did he hail from rich parents? That is our final question here. Youngest of four sons, he was the brother of a weather forecaster, Piers Corbin, and son of Naomi, a maths teacher, and David Corbin, an electrical engineer... What? The youngest? He's the brother. Okay. Son of a math teacher. Okay, public sector again. And David, an electrical engineer and expert in power rectifiers. All right, so he came for pretty good money. Uh, his parents were peace campaigners and met during the Spanish Civil War. Okay, so he's influenced by his parents. Oh, God, here's a picture of him. a fucking douche from 1990. <laughs> oh, man, go drive a fucking Subaru. Uh, when Corbin was seven years old, my family moved to Pave Lane. Father bought U Tree Manor, converting it into a family home. So the guy bought a manor, went to a preparatory school. Yes, yeah, so this guy, because so he's got three points so far. He's, he's a daddy's boy. He's a rich kid. League against cruel sports. He trained in uh, school of 18, grammar school, voluntary. So he's avoided real work his entire life. Later worked at the union. Okay, so no, no private sector experience. And then it goes on, activism expends. Okay, it, you already, there's nothing we need to know more than this. This is a lazy, parasitic individual. This guy had no intention. Now, admittedly, maybe his, his parents obviously did have an influence upon him. But this guy has never worked a day in his life. He has never produced one ounce of GDP. He has never made anything that anybody ever asked for. And you could see by his platform, he wants free everything. This man is your your standard leftist. You're, you're, you're stand, he's not a left, he's a socialist, a far left socialist. He believes in communism. He doesn't understand that shit has to be produced or produ uh, made or manufactured. Uh, he doesn't understand the concept that people need to be paid. He doesn't understand the concept of profit. He just, ah, free everything. And some of these things he's belonged to, nuclear disarmament, but what was it? The Palestine, where did it go? He had the League Against Cruel Sports. <laughs> and his activism, what else? I mean, just, there's nothing special to say about this individual. Um, it's kind of like, you know, we, we can hate Barack Obama, we can hate people like this who are veritable parasites, but there's always been parasites in society. What you have to realize, what, what was really 
the takeaway or what is really the lesson to learn from this is the people that vote a guy like this in. This is he's elected by, you know, roughly half your population. They believe in this dumb shit. They believe in a guy who who is who is a fucking nothing, who's a loser, who's a nobody, who's done absolutely nothing in his life except ask for other people's money. Um, so I'm, I'm so cynical and, you know, we elected Obama here twice and, and I've seen, you know, I've talked to people in the United States and, and they're just so far gone. Nothing really surprises me anymore, but he's just, he's just a waste of human life and human being. Um, you know, this guy will have never achieved anything. Uh, this is why, uh, what's his name? Churchill will be forever remembered and this guy won't. Uh, it, it's just, he's just another handout, gimme fucking shit, you evil rich bastards. That's all he is. And now, of course, him and I would probably agree on eliminating uh, crony capitalism, um, you know, getting tax dodgers, um, stuff like that. But this is, this is a child. This is a guy who's never grown up, who has always had either sucking off the tit of mommy and daddy or sucking off the tit of the taxpayer. And just, it's just, this is a worthless human. This is just a worthless human being. Um, you know, of course, the left are going to love him, and I'm an evil, racist, white male fuck, blah, blah, blah. But in the real world, when it ultimately boils down to something, uh, you, me, all the real men in this world have actually produced stuff of value instead of just saying, <laughs> I want more money. <laughs> Give me money. We're not like these fucking crying wine babies like this guy is. So when you see him, I know he's gray haired and he's going to die like in fucking 30 years because of age. Um, you're not, don't, don't let the gray hair fool you. This is a child who has never grown up. This is a, a spoiled little brat who's had more money from mommy and daddy in the government. Allow him this luxurious lifestyle of just being a career politician. Um, you know, th this is this is kind of the lowest of the low. I have more respect for criminals. I have more respect for El Chapo. I have more respect for shit. I got more respect for fucking ISIS. Uh, at least they stand for something it, deluded as it is. I, I'd rather have a beer with an ISIS individual than this guy because I, I just have more respect for him. This is just a whiner, just a fucking whiny cunt, or bint as uh, as you. Uh, well, we're called the Colonials. What the hell do we call you guys? The Brits. That's I don't. We don't have. We don't have a a posh word like the Colonials. That's just like you taskmasters, you slave masters, you guys that that tried to like you know invade us twice or whatever. Anyway, so yeah, that's my opinion on Jeremy uh, Corbyn. Um, just your another standard worthless human being that will die like the previous fifty billion human beings, pretty much unaccomplished and wasting his life and just asking for handouts. So anyway, best of luck with that guy. Hope, hope he doesn't win, but you know, you got enough lazy, whiny, parasitic fucks over there in the UK. He'll probably become, you know, prime minister or whatever. Toodles.